What's up everybody, Zavrin here, and today we're taking a look at a game called Celtica. It is a story-driven economic strategy game inspired by Celtic myths and mythology and history, perseverance and knowledge of your people, and only you choose the way to conquer Celtica. Developed and published by Rainy May Studios, it has no slated release date as of yet. The demo's available on Steam. And yeah, I just read every just a description straight from it. I do like this uh, low poly style art. So let's go ahead, jump in, take a look and see how it goes, shall we? All right, so we have three options here. We got the tutorial, which teaches us the tutorial. It's a tutorial mission. And then we can go into the demo mission and then free game, which I'm assuming is like endless mode, maybe. We'll see what happens. I clicked on tutorial and there it goes. Welcome to the Celtica's tutorial mission. This is a guide where we're... This guide will help you build the first Celtic settlement and introduce the game's interface. First thing needed for the settlement is to set up a solid production of wood resource used for building new houses. Build lumberjacks, huts near clan houses, and lumberjacks will start cutting... will start to cut near forests and deliver wood to maintain a building storage. Closer the building is to the clan house the faster the wood will be delivered but be cautious some buildings can only be built next to the clan house keep that in mind while planning the future settlement okay our mission on a mission panel you can use your tasks for example now you could build the lumberjacks huts and store enough wood for your next building building menu allows you to build new houses and show their descriptions and prices if you place your cursor over the building's icon here you can see all of your resources used for upkeep, building, yep. Okay, cool. So now we got a clan house, right? So we want to build kind of here next to the forest though, right? And does R rotate? No, right mouse button cancels. But we'll put that there, that's fine. I like the hex pattern. So that should give us some lumber there and then a wheat field allows you to speed up and slow down time good so it just round robins with tea that's good okay so we got a lumberjack there let's uh what do we need here one windmill okay so we can't build a windmill yet we need to gather 10 wood, so let's... Could we put that there? Because they're kind of daisy-chained. Because I don't want to put all everything right next to the clan house yet. We need the clan house, right? So I'm assuming daisy-chaining is okay. Now, it would probably be a stupid assumption, but we'll see. By the way, I like it. It's chill. Lumberjack's hot 40 out of 100. Okay, cool. So everybody should be doing their job. Everybody should be getting stuff taken care of. We need eight more lumber. Let's go ahead and just pass on time until we get all that wood. And then we could build a windmill, I take it. How far in can we zoom? Oh, you can have a good source of wood and your people need to eat. Fishermen can catch fish. For that, you have to build a fisherman's hut, but people can't eat raw fish before you bring it to your settlers. It should be cooked in the kitchen. Food is always the most important or is the most important source of settlement. So always keep in mind as your settlement grows, you need to make sure that people have enough food on their table or else it won't work. The day counter. Oh, okay, so that's day 14 i thought it was like hour 14. uh for every resource you can see how many units and upkeep da, 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 da. okay fair enough so let's go ahead and put this back on to regular speed here i was wanting to see how far in i could zoom so we need a fisherman's hut and but we also need a kitchen so what if we put a kitchen here and then a fisherman's hut here because that kind of tackles both of those right and the kitchen's attached to the clan house. 
And what is this? Storehouse. Okay. Oh, I need three kitchens. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And four fishermen's huts. Okay. So what is this? What did I just build? Fisherman hut. Oh, I need a storehouse, which we need a bunch of wood for. Some buildings were shut down because there's not enough resources. Okay. The lumberjack's hut. Not enough resources. Okay, cool. Okay. Resume more. So I wonder if these trees will actually like go away eventually. You know what I mean? It's right mouse button to move around the screen, by the way. So I need a storehouse. And does the storehouse can be built only next to the main building. So it has to be right here or right here. And we need, we got it. I guess we'll stick it there, it's fine. store different things Try food for resource storage here okay so that's good you can only store one resource is that right like i can't okay yeah no we'll do we'll do food okay that's fine so we'll let that go i, I guess i'll build another storehouse like right here and we'll put it for um lumber and pass time on. I don't know, we're on day 189 and we can't do anything because we're literally locked on 30 of 30 food. But the goal is to get 35 food. And I have eight huts, six kitchens. I literally have way more than what I need on everything. And it won't give me the extra food stores. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Either way, we've tried the uh, tutorial portion. We've got it figured out. So let's go ahead, jump back to the main menu. Let's go to... Uh, new game. We'll go to the demo mission. Let's try that. On the way to the heart of Celtica, clan of blue antlers went down the river, Hamel. Here lies the land of Niscus, local river god. Years by, years by years, he found himself fond of frogs and bogs instead of clean waters becoming more wild and strong. Niscus was or wasn't a god of large flock. Only a couple of villagers paid attention to the playful god, and now he's totally forgotten how to take proper prayer. It's time to fight for your way to his trust to remind him how true believers can sing for protection. To gain trust of Niscus, the god of bogs and swamps, Antlers need to build one of two altars and try to drain every swamp in the Hamble with stones or to sacrifice enough calm to calm his temper. The only message Druid gave Neum from, Tusk, uh, from Niscus was, don't try me and get your hands off my swamps. All right, well, Shrek. Indicators at the top of the screen show the range of God's swamps of rage of the god of swamps there are three phases in the mission swamps will appear every 10 days and their quality and types change with each phase information about phases you can see by placing the cursor on the indicator you need to drain all the swamps as fast as possible for that you'll need a strong economy and a solid plan you will lose if the rage bar reaches a final point if you playing Celtica, for the first time, we strongly recommend that you complete the tutorial mission. You will learn how to navigate the game's interface, build your first settlement. Tutorial mode is available from the new game selection in the main menu. Okay, so we're here. 
So we need to build a lumberjack's hut. Let's get right uh, here. That should be fine. We'll build another one right here. And we'll build another one, say, right here. We got a swamp here that we need to figure out how to get rid of. Um, fisherman's hut, sawmill, a wheat field. Altar of Defiance. Stonemason's house, a sawmill. So this Altar of Defiance. So we select this here to drain the swamp. Oop, there's a new swamp there coming up too. Frick. Okay. There's another swamp here going too. Damn. Okay. All right, let's see. I guess we'll put it up on speed two. Get another one there. Let's get a fisherman's hut here. We got another one of these here. And that should give us plenty of lumber to start with. Because we're going to need kitchens too. Wait, what was that? A fisherman's hut. Okay, good. Damn, dude. So we need some kitchens. I'm going to put a kitchen here. I think we just put this back on the one. Uh, select. That's fine. We'll put another kitchen, say, here. We're almost to the storehouse, that's fine. So it selects the fish by default. Um, So that should give us plenty of stuff food-wise, right? I'm assuming that's what that's going to do for us. Oh, you can rotate, dude. Middle mouse button. I don't know why I decided. Oh, let me just check this one. Let me try this. On this, we're gonna go ahead and select uh, food. That should be fine, right? Should give us our food that we need. Stonemason's house. We're almost there, right? We need 10 lumber. So why am I not getting lumber? Lumberjack's hut. Sawmill. So I guess I'll build a couple of more sawmills. And another fisherman's hut. No, I don't want that there. How do I cancel? No! I want to get rid of it.
Okay, that's fine. So you lose money if you deconstruct. I need the altar of defiance. I need stone, so I need the stone mason's house. We need 10 coins. Okay, we'll just destroy that one, I guess. We can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. Sawmill. Where's my market? We'll sell some fish. And we'll sell some lumber, I guess, or some stone. Defiance. Hold on. Can only be built. Okay. That's fine. We'll stick it there. Drain swamp. That's fine. How many are we supposed to drain? 18 swamps altogether. Sell it all, please. Damn, we're getting three at a time. Yeah, we're not going to... We're, we're gonna fail this mission so bad. <laughs> but I really do like this game. Like, I'm pretty stoked about it. Swamps, boys. No, come on. I don't know how I get out of this thing. There it goes. 17 of 37. Oh, we have to drain all the swamps. Oh my God, dude. I totally misread that stupid stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and build a kitchen. That's fine. Need a lot more food. 
Did that stuff never sell? Just sell it all, please. Just sell all the stone. I know it's kind of stupid to do that, but we'll get more stone. Okay, so let's go to our storage marketplace. Mm. Let's buy all the, let's buy it all. That way we at least have some wheat. I don't know what we could do with the wheat, but we could try to figure something out, right? We should be sitting on plenty of wheat. It gives us a little bit extra food stuffs. Where's a windmill? There it is. It's only 10 coins, dude. I've been sleeping on that. Sell it all, please. Sell it. Sell it. fine then i can start putting these out at 20 coins a piece holy shit Get some money. I didn't realize all these people closed down. Wasn't paid, no, never mind. Yeah, we're done. Game over. We don't have enough time. I totally messed this one up. <laughs> It'll be okay.
Okay, can we drain some more? <laughs> Not even close to enough. Every time I drain one, another one pops up, or sometimes three of them pop up. No! Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six going all at once, dude. There's no way. Yeah, this is game over. We'll just ride it out. I know there's not really a need to watch this play out because we already know we're done. However, I want to see what happens when we fail. There's nothing I could do. Like, there's almost nothing I could do at all. Like, literally everything's closed down. I can't even open a clan house. So we're done, done, done. Well, the game crashed. Um, let's see what happens when we click continue. Well, that took us all the way back here. But, uh, yeah, so the game crashed and there's nothing. We know that there's nothing that we're going to do here. So I'm just going to call it here. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys thought about the game in the comments below. And we'll try to keep playing it. I, I really like this game. I want to complete this mission. So we'll try it again next time. But this is where we're going to go ahead and end this one. So thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.